Uh, joining me now is Tennessee State Representative Tori Harris. Um, thanks for joining us on this, uh, Tori. We appreciate it. Um, I, I want to talk a little bit about police culture. Antonio touched on it um, a bit there, but, but as we've kind of been talking through um, the killing of Tyra Nichols and everything that we saw um, come out of that video yesterday evening, there is this sense that folks are shocked by what they saw, understandably, but not surprised. Yeah, thanks, Yasmin. And um, you're absolutely right. We're, we're shocked to a point. Um, we watched this happen with George Floyd. We watched this happen with Breonna Taylor, um, Darius Wright. And to now be able to be in Memphis, Tennessee, watching this happen with Tyree Nichols. And I can't move forward without recognizing Ms. Rovon Wells, the mother of Tyree Nichols, and just trying to understand where she is right now in this moment. Um, policing is an issue that we have right now. And it's going to take all of us working together to try to figure this thing out. There is absolutely no reason why this young man is not with us right now. He should be skateboarding. He should be out doing something that he loved doing, which is photography. But yet he's gone. Uh, mm. He cried out for his mother. And we watched that happen on on this video on last night. And, and that was just tough for us here in Memphis to watch where the majority of us look like our police department to have to sit there and watch them beat, to brutally beat this man. You see them at one point grab his arms and say, show us your hands. But he couldn't do that because they were already holding him. Well, we, where, where are we at this point where there's a lack of police training? There's inefficient policies, the, the brutality that we're having to watch in front of our eyes. And, it, and it's just so sad. Uh, we're disgusted. I, I cannot say it any more than that, that we are just blatantly disgusted. I, I could not be in the situation right now where my people, my community, many of the activists and community members that I've spoken to last week, I, I remember before being elected, um, being out there um, during George Floyd and being an activist and being a part of that process and now having to sit there as a legislator where we have the power and the ability to change some of these laws and the rules that happen, and yet we still haven't done it. I'm hearing it in your voice, um, Tori, and I want you to expand on it, which is kind of this frustration with a lack of reform movement change, right? And, and we've seen it across the board with many issues. I've been up here talking about police shootings, police brutality over and over and over again um, throughout the years, right? Reforms have not happened. Changes have not happened. People ask over and over again, what else do you need to see? How bad does the video need to get, right? We could talk about gun legislation as well. Uh, when it comes to mass yeah. shootings, how bad does it need to get for change to happen? Is there a feeling, is there a sense that no matter what happens, no matter how bad it gets, no matter how brutal these videos are, things won't change? It, it feels that way. And a lot of that comes because if you watched over the last few days, over the couple, last couple of weeks, actually, the amount of fear mongering that was put in front of us to say that people in Memphis were going to protest and it was going to be violent rather than trying to make sure that we hold our police office accountable for making sure that they're not violent. And let's face it, Memphis Police Department did not move swiftly because it was the right thing to do. They moved swiftly because they know that the Memphis community is not going to play with them. Yeah. And we're not. The, the, the protests that are going to be happening over the next couple of days, over the next couple of weeks, they have to continue. And we have to keep on, it seems like, begging in order to get some change to happen. And that shouldn't be the case. But one thing that one thing I can say for sure is that mm -hmm. Memphis is going to hold um, the nation accountable for this. Our communities, we're going to make sure that people look at policing, that we look at how our policies happen. If you look back at the records of these young men who were on this police force, who the five men at least, we're, we're looking at there's possibly more. But at the minimum, these five men right here haven't been with this force for that long. Yet, they are part of a task force that was put in place by our mayor and by our chief of police in order to make sure that safety and that crime decreased in our city. These men weren't trained to do this. They weren't ready for this, obviously. And we sat there and watched them try to create uh, a narrative of a story that wasn't true. This young man got pulled over. Why did he get pulled over? We have yet to figure that part out. And as a city, we're going to get to the bottom of that. Tennessee State Representative uh, Tori Harris, we thank you.